Okay, y'all, so I'm going to try to do a love reading. I don't know how good I am at them because, you know, cap right here. I do love hard, though, so I guess I should give myself a little bit of credit, right? All right. Anyway, this is for all signs, so if you resonate with this good deal, if not, do not worry about it because it is just a card game after all. It won't work if you don't believe in it. Remember that. You see little things here. That's your nose. Right there. That's your nose. Just put your nose all in. Just let me poke it. Anyway. Love reading, right? I'm just going to make a two-way path, right? Card in the center. Two on each side. And then I clarify those, right? And go from there. That's usually a pathway card. So we can look at it that way and see what your options are with that. And you can figure out what it is you want to do from there. Right? If you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are all in the description box below. You can hit me up there. I usually don't do voice, video, or phone call readings because that's like, I don't know, I'm not at that level yet. Just give me time. I'll warm up to it, but just, just not right now. Someone took me by surprise the other day, and it was just like, ah, but I need to be more accepting of being social, and it's like, ugh, but that's beside the point. First card we got, Princess of Pentacles, oh, someone could be pregnant, dealing with a pregnancy, possibly a child that's hopefully not pregnant, but you know, I, I like, we just got to put that out there, but Definitely could be an energy of, like, birthing something right here. Potential. Right? Right. On this side, we got fighting for someone. Oh. One of a fight against... Hmm. <clears throat> Four of Wands, Reaver. Someone might be fighting a relationship that they separated from. Or fighting to even deal with that separation. On this side, we have the Queen of Pentacles. King of Wands came up, but I'm not putting it down because I wasn't a shuffle. And the Nine of Swords. Someone's pragmatism is uh, driving them nuts. So someone's being pretty defensive, and the other person's basically kind of walking around like a zombie, I feel like. Maybe someone just doesn't want to talk about how the relationship went down or how they're disconnected while the other person is, you know, trying to deal with shit, but like being really cold on the surface, especially Queen of Swords. Could be a Libra in this, Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini is also over here as well. A lot of air and fire on either side, honestly, like that's actually pretty symmetrical. So this princess of pentacles, right? What is this about? Um, someone feels like they were, they were an enemy and they're regretting how things went down. Everything feels like a dream and nothing is really secure in this. You might be feeling like your relationship was a bit too topsy-turvy for you. Yeah, there is, there is potential in this, but it's like whatever their potential was has been a little bit marred by how everything went down. Like everybody being against each other or at least one person. And that's probably why this person's got their defenses up with the Seven of Wands, because now they have their own wand to fight these people off with. Whereas over here, this person might be the one who's mourning a little bit, but you both probably are too. Now, this feels like it was a failed dream or just a pipe dream, and that's why this separation came up. And all of this um, insecurity is just driving this person over here mad. Now, the Seven of Wands. How is this person fighting? Oh, Lord. There's a book. We have the Queen of Wands with the Two of Cups. Like, they still feel like the relationship might have something there. Like, there is potential. Like, they feel this very strongly. Unfortunately, they also feel like their hands are tied as well when it comes to the relationship. And they feel like there's nothing worth fighting for now. But they're still fighting. Maybe they feel like they won't have a victory. Still, you know?
King of Wands. Or not the Wands. Pentacles. Jesus. It's only me. And... Page of Swords. Shadow Side Upright. Hmm. Well, he's in the dark, but he's got money. But he's also, like, walking away talking shit. Hmm. So this person might feel like they're fighting off somebody who is, uh, not even interested in having conflict in them. It's just like, boy, I got some funds here. You got a wand. I at least have a sword. I'm not turning my back to you. Like, he has his back to this guy completely while this guy's getting zapped. You know, definitely a lot of, um, competitiveness within here. And if this is the same person all over, it's like they don't want to show it, but they will fight if they have to. This might also be this air sign who's in the center as well. Just turning their back to everything despite the fact that there is fun. Or there's something going on here with money. Let's see. With them, the Four of Wands is, like, reverse. So it's, like, the separation's here, the door's closed. They still want to offer to this relationship, right? They're just, like, you know, holding up and taking their time. Strength right here. Um, trying to, sh like, I feel like they're patiently gathering up what they need to gather in order to battle, but they're biding their time a little bit, too. But they definitely have something to offer here. Now we have the Queen of Wands, or not Wands, uh, this is the second time I've said Wands. Queen of Swords. Like, we're Gemini and Aquarius. Oh, also, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, both down here, Leo. Gemini, of course. Now, this Queen of Swords person on this side. Um, something's not working for them. And it's got them feeling a bit paranoid. It's got them feeling like, are they watching me? Why are they aiming their arrows at me? Oh my god, you know. Like, they feel like people kind of come after them and they're keeping up like a almost like and this is possibly leo too almost like um like he's the king of pentacles over here and she is um broke and snooping possibly on leo right right I'm going to put one more right... Well, I'll do some more with um, my uh, writer weight, because that's what they're for. The Knight of Swords right here. They are tormented. They got a lot of shit on the brain. Um, a lot about this relationship that they feel like should have been. They feel like there's love out there somewhere. They just don't know where. Uh, and they want to go find it, damn it. Janet, I love you. Okay. Sorry, I was walking to the Rocky Horror Picture Show at work. I really wish I was born in the 70s so I could have... Or the 60s. So I at least could have participated in that shit. Because that would have been a good fucking time. It really would have been a good fucking time. Anyway. So. What's the result of this right here? All of this right here. Someone's being a stingy ass. That's one. <laughs> looking over... Is he looking over this way? I can never tell. Yeah. Looking over this way, all mad and shit. Um, I... That a tower didn't fall? That someone's being hard-headed? Stubborn? And they can't start something new. Aw. How about this person on the, I don't know, the left, the left, the le 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 left. Justice definitely could be Libra. Um, relationship from the past. 
Something that did not end. Hmm. It's like... It's like to them it's unfair that the love that they had for this person still isn't dead yet. They don't think, like, they they find it completely unfair how everything went back in the day. And they're really hard-headed because they really want this tower to come in. Hello, spider. Why are you in my house, man? Oh, there are many of... What? Are you guys going to fight right on my kitchen? Or are you mating? Yes, I'm looking right at you. Sorry, there are like spiders literally making homes in my house. My house is surrounded by spiders this year. It's crazy. All the bugs are coming out trying to murder everybody. We're going to become Australia soon. I'm so terrified. I don't know. As long as they don't come on my table, I really don't care. Like, they can do whatever the fuck they want. Or I'll move them outside. That way I don't have to kill them. Because if I catch them anywhere other than this table, they're going to die. Like... That's just got. That's just how it's got to go. Like anywhere but where I know I'm not going to be touching anytime soon. It's cool, but if I'm over here, uh, uh. Anyway, <laughs> this person wants the commitment. I'm sorry I was rambling about that. That was ridiculous, but it happens. I'm gonna name you Pete and Pete. That's your names now. They're burdened. They want the relationship, but they're definitely burdened. Because they got what they wished for, but they didn't think about the hubris of the fucking wish. So... Huh. Hmm. Definitely a love relationship. It's like neither of these two even realize they're, on the, they're not even on the same... It's like... You can imagine someone doesn't see your point of view, but it's like, as soon as you guys talk to each other, you realize how far off base you would be. It's kind of like that. Like, it's so difficult. Like, this person is definitely still in love. They're just not really... Like, they can go in other places, I think, but then they, they come up looking at shit. Particularly, I think, at the same fucking Leo, right? Whereas this person is making this money, they're just like, you know, I kind of wish this wasn't a closed door. I, I like, but I'm uh, only because I'm upset that I can't get the fuck over this person. And it's like, they're mad because this person is not having a tower moment and starting shit. It's like they're waiting for that person to do something. That's why the page of swords' back's turned. You know? They want this person to come up and actually be like, Hey, if you want me, fucking show me. Or at least attempt to earn me. Like, for fuck's sakes, am I worth nothing to you? Well, meanwhile, this person is completely fucking obsessed with this person. But they're not really even facing. Like, is this ace? Is It's ace... No, even the Ace of Cups over here isn't even paying attention. The bitch, like, this person's looking everywhere but the person they want to be with. And it's like, the person that they want to be with believes that this person wants nothing to do with them. And it pisses them off that they still love them. So it's kind of like... They don't even realize how much they love each other. It's such a weird contradictory thing is just kind of like, they don't love me, they're not coming to me. And the other person's like, I love them, but I, but I have no way of getting to them. I just can't face them. And it's just kind of like, go! Just talk to each other. Like, Jesus. Or somebody, because this person isn't going to approach, because they have no idea. And this person's too much in, like, I think denial with the tower card right here, you know? It's like they're taking so much of their time like, feeling the burden, that they're not thinking that they can do something about the burden. Which is kind of like, why are you even... Ugh. Like, I hate that. I hate a person who will, um, think of doing something but doesn't do it. Because it's just, it's, ugh. Like, how do you let it bother you, right? Okay, I'm pulling my demon man, because fuck it. Let's continue the story, right? What would happen if they were to approach each other? 
That's a good question to ask, I think. Because these people are kind of like, hmm. Like this person, that, like the person on the left does want the connection to die. And the person over here is wanting the connection to be something more than it is right now. Like it's dead. It is dead. It is it's dead and this person is still daydreaming about love with this person. Uh, this person wants to let their guard down. Uh, but I think they're scared of being a failure. Which is like... Dude, we're all a product of our parents' failures. Like, you're already a failure at birth. The only thing you do is make yourself a little bit more productive than what you were originally. You know, at least you know shit. You can talk. You can walk. You don't shit your pants regularly like babies do. You're good. You're never a failure if you think of life that way. Like, waking up is an accomplishment. You, like, take that as a gift every day. Even if you don't fucking like it. Um, there are choices that need to be made by this person. They could definitely start something new here. There might even be, like, a, a chance for pregnancy. Ha wink, ha wink. You know? Like, this person is definitely thinking of birthing something new with the other person. Even if they are a baby. <laughs> just throwing that in there just in case someone feels a little salty. I got your back, man. I'll throw anybody a bone. I don't care. Um, this person's just wasting time. This person is manifesting. And this person is just waiting around. Mm. Thinking. Like, should they sever the connection? Like, when are they, like, uh, like, that's what I'm noticing. They're, they're not really concerned. this person is trying to keep themselves away from this person. You know? Like, that kind of makes more sense now, because, like... This door is closed, and they're fighting shit off. They're getting their money. They're turning their back. Why are they turning their back? But this person wants to re... Like, a reunion. This is almost like a reunion. You know? Why is this happening? Like... Duh. It's like they closed the door, but they still want to make an offer, but they're holding back. And they just wish that shit would be over with. Mind you. There is only, I think, the six of cups. And the nine of cups. I think those are... No, I was the six... Yeah, the... Other Nine of Cups is here as well. So those are in the Five of Cups. Alright, there's more Cups than what I thought. But there's a lot of emotions that are very hurt here. And a lot of lingering feelings as well. Like a lot of lingering feelings. You know? This person wants to work on opening the door. <laughs> What does this person want? What's person on the left want? Let's see what they want. Oh, they got a bunch. Uh, uh, they want to shun that because it's too much. Mm. That's relatable. This person is too busy working on themselves. They feel like it would be a distraction to deal with this person again. I feel like... It's too much. It's too much emotion. It's a drag. It's like, I'll just take um, this one cup as a souvenir and, you know, you keep the rest. I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm praying to God I get out of this fucking shithole that I'm in right now. You know? Like, you have a good time. Um, I'm, I'm going elsewhere. You know? Whereas this person, like, they're kind of like, they don't know how to open the door and they're trying to figure out how. They're not, I think they're not very skilled with whatever it is they're trying to craft. I think they're trying to think of something. They're trying to mend something. Not very, um... Yeah, because they're burdened. Both tens. Um, this person is just... Like, they want this person... They want whoever... Whoever you are, they want this one with a vengeance. 
Like, give me that booty. I'll go clap, clap, clap with them cheeks, you know? Like, they want you desperately. And over here, it's like, nah, man. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'll, I'll see you later. Fuck you, but have a nice life. Uh, next, please. You know. And while this person's a fucking zombie. <laughs> and this person isn't giving shit. Hmm. Yeah, nah. So this is the love reading. It feels like all the other ones I've done before, but at least we're following up with the same kind of story. Tell me what you guys think of this, or if we should try to do something else that's different. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm still thinking of the woke and the NPC one, but I don't like the word woke, because when you're woke, you have to be paranoid all the time. All the time. All the time. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you want to like, share, subscribe, go right ahead. I would appreciate it, but no pressure, of course, it's up to you. Um, this is the end of the reading. I love each and every one of you, and thanks for enjoying this video with my weirdness. Love y'all. Bye-bye.